Hey, hi guys, and welcome to another video of my PHP tutorials. And uh, we are an uh, object-oriented programming. Um, and um, this is uh, the code from the last video. But let's uh, let's delete this and the extended class and all this. Okay. So we have only the class my class. Now in this video I'm going to talk about uh, static uh, variables and functions. In the last video we talked about uh, private and protected and public uh, variables or functions. Okay, and we will talk now about static variables or functions. And static it's uh, more or less like uh, private. Uh, functions okay so static uh, only work uh, or we define static for variables or functions that we are going to use only inside the class my class okay only inside this class and so the first thing you have to do to call uh, a static uh, variable or to define a static variable is type of course static as I did in here and now the variable is going to call I'm going to call it uh, var equals and uh, one for example okay and um, now to call or echo this uh, variable here uh, what I have to type in here is a function okay we can call it public uh, public function oops function let's call it uh, result parenthesis okay and here I'm going to echo um, I want to echo the variable okay uh, so in the last few videos we learned how to echo uh, a variable either public uh, private or uh, protected in the same class so we just have to do uh, echo this which means this class and this symbol right here and then just type the name of the variable okay without the dollar sign so variable and this would do then we would create uh, an object and uh, we can try that. So I'm going to create an object called C uh, with variable C, and this object is uh, from my class. Sorry, uh, new my class and um, semicolon, and now I type C, and now result. let's see if this works if I refresh we get um, an error okay and we get an error because the variable is static variable if I just take this out okay and just refresh test uh, I don't know if I mentioned before but if you type a variable or a function without a uh, public protected or private before it um, I think uh, it uh, can be accessed by anybody or anywhere okay in the class or outside the class or another class so I think it's um, it's the pretty much the same thing uh, as public I think so um, but if you want to normally you can type public here so if I leave this like this or type public public uh, and now uh, okay um, that's it okay and now refresh this we have the result one okay so it works so this is how we learn already how we can um, echo uh, a variable from the same class inside the same class but now this is a static 
okay and to output static variable we can have to uh, instead of this we have to type self okay so because we are um, in the same class so it's it's uh, itself it's uh, I don't know why they call it self but this is a built-in word or function and uh, OOP PHP so self colon colon and um, now we type the name of the variable and in this case we have to, to, to put the dollar sign okay uh, so var semicolon okay simple as that okay and now uh, of course we uh, just created uh, the object and let's go the object um, sorry the function uh, result and the T let's see if it works okay let's go here oops sorry guys open this and let's go back to Google what I want to do is go back to test.php and click enter and now it works okay perfect so if we have a static variable okay um, in our class to call it we just have to type uh, a function create a function um, and inside a function echo we ha we type echo and then self uh, colon colon and the name of the variable okay including the dollar sign okay and then we just have to create the object and call the function okay so uh, it's pretty much uh, the only difference between static and um, and I think private yeah and private uh, variables is that uh, we have to use uh, the this and for static we use the self colon colon okay and of course the we have to put the um, dollar sign here so uh, now what I'm going to show you is uh, how to make static functions and how we use static functions okay so you can delete all this um, and leave the static word so static function let's call this function test parenthesis and what uh, this function will hold is echo uh, Victor and let's make another function here it's going to be a static function as well static function this function is going to be called results and this is going to echo my name is okay um, now uh, what I want to do is to call this function test into uh, this function result okay and what I want to do is to the total string to be my name is Victor okay so what I can do here is to call to put this function test in here and to do that I just uh, I just type self colon colon test okay uh, we as we called uh, a variable before we use the same way to call a function okay so let's say this and now uh, this is very curious because we don't need to make an object or create an object to uh, call directly um, this function okay or whatever function you want to call it uh, so what we do is to type here the name of the class which is my class colon colon and then we just have to type the name of the function inside the class that we want to call which is of course result okay and hopefully this will output my name is Victor okay so we 
result save this and let's open the browser refresh and there it is okay perfect so that's pretty much it um, you now know how to use static functions and static uh, variables okay or properties so uh, this is it uh, in the next video uh, we gonna um, talk about constants of a class okay and how to use those so see you guys in the next video bye